Yo, what it is up, guys? It is Spanish John here from Philosopher Stone Gaming with a long time coming video for y'all. So, it's terribly spiced, spliced, I'm not gonna lie to you right now. But, as time goes on, hopefully things improve. But, without further ado, you will be watching my unboxing of the Steam Deck two quick comparison shots and two three videos not a hundred percent sure yet we're actually still in the middle of production of this but um yeah the first two hundred percent are there and it is a game that at the time was not compatible with steam deck a hundred percent not sure if it is still also, additionally, when I got my Steam Deck, I think there was only 69 games that were uh, great on deck. Very nice, by the way. Very nice. Uh, now we're up to 73, and you'll see that in my second video where I try some stuff. I'm not going to spoil it just yet. And then lastly, I mean, yeah, I believe so. I will have a third video. Um, will be the start of a, a stream schedule, hopefully that uh, will be unrelated to Steam Deck and in general this is a gaming channel so we will do a lot of things it's going down baby also PSA if you didn't realize it by now this is an adult channel so I will be dropping F-bombs and other things here and there you oh, have been on. warned but either way keep it civil thank you and without further ado enjoy Now, why does the color scheme of this scream HP? Can someone tell me that? Anyways, let's keep going. Yeah, boy! It's the Steam Deck! So. Comes inside its carrying case. And over here we have power adapter and the brick. So, let's uh, use quote unquote movie magic to uh, unwrap it. So here we are, unwrapped, but still semi wrapped. Let's see if I can slide this off with one hand. Not too bad, but not as easy either, because it slips back down every time. Honestly, premium as hell. Pretty sure you can put your cable back down there. I'm sure there's a space inside. We'll find out in a second, but. Now I do have a screen protector coming. Uh, and we gotta use some movie magic to uh, cut the lock, so one second. So yeah, like I was saying, I do have a screen protector coming in, and I am looking at uh, some sort of cases, like not a travel case obviously, but like a grip, you know, like you would put on your phone type of deal. This thing is a chunky mother fluffer. But it's nice. It's very nice. 
I'll go grab my switch for a quick comparison. And here is one of the first two comparison shots I promised you. Yes, that is my Switch OLED, and yes, the Steam Deck is a big chonkers. The second one, I remembered, I still have a Wii U. And I was like, it's no way that it's bigger than the Wii U tablet. Yes, yes it is bigger than the Wii U tablet. Thing is insane. This next bit is me trying out a game that is not Steam Deck compatible, and you'll see to my surprise that it runs just fine. The clip after that though, left a lot to be desired. Additionally, I do want to apologize for the bad video, it didn't have the cable that I have for the second video, but it also does the Steam Deck a disservice, since, well, I'll explain that in the next video. Or in the next clip, I should say, since it's all just one shot video. Terribly cut, too. Very sorry about that. Anyways. This is an unsupported game, as you can tell by the logo right there, and we're just going to try it anyway. We'll see what happens. these kinds of things you're subjected to the touch screen which when I'm using an external monitor to try to copy this makes it a little harder but uh let's try keep going a little bit further it's like it's like inverse it's weird Oh god, this is painful to watch. That's not where we were headed, buddy. Come on. Work with me, screen. There we go. So you might encounter those errors and again when you're on the actual Steam Deck and portable mode I guess it's not a switch but we're gonna call it we're gonna pretend it is a lot easier to deal with that screen but here we are an unsupported game and I'm just literally using the Steam Deck there are no controllers attached to it or anything can see it's running perfectly fine might look terrible to you guys because it is only outputting it's not the Steam Deck resolution which is 800p it is what it is though this is a cleaner way to capture video and as you can see top left corner we're running at 60 FPS. In unsupported games, it has this issue where the opening movies don't always work and you get the screen. Sometimes you can skip it. Sometimes you can't. You see, like, it's trying to show you the video. But it's just failing so badly. Luckily, we can skip it in this game not subjected to waiting for something you cannot see 
And this is why uh, the games need some verification and they go through a process on the Steam Deck. is why even though it might launch they don't always work anyways that is all I have for you on the Steam Deck so far I will get back to you eventually uh, stand by for uh, just one more video might not be Steam Deck related but just stand by so in closing I want to thank you for sticking by as long as you did I know it was terribly cut all around, and I promise you that it will get better. Though, my definition and your definition are two different things. Still have a day job, so we'll do what we can. Um, in regards to that final clip with uh, Bullet Witch, there was a part one to that video that I had to cut. Since you missed out on a lot of info, we'll, we'll get back to that in a separate Steam Deck video. And I'm hoping to uh, do some research, follow up. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say realistically, but you know, it's the first time using Linux for me, and it's been interesting. I believe two weeks since I actually got the Steam Deck. Like I said, I, I know I am behind in making this video for you guys, so we will keep experimenting. We might even record some of that experimentation. Maybe, maybe not. I don't like the current solutions to recording Steam Deck stuff, and until they officially release their dock, you know, we might just be subjected to terrible phone videos. So I apologize ahead of time for now in regards to that. And what you're watching now is uh, going to be a what I'm going to be streaming hopefully soon, maybe even later today. Depending on how I feel. Since, like I said, I do have a day job, and for those of you that I don't know, it is mostly an overnight job, so. You'll be seeing this probably as I'm getting home, realistically speaking, so. Up to me if I have the energy to go right into streaming, or maybe I'll just do it later that day. We'll see. The idea is to do something every Saturday at the very least, maybe some more stuff. I am currently way heavily into Destiny, so you might just see me streaming that for a little bit, uh, and uh, we're about five days away from the big patch for Minecraft, uh, I do have my own thoughts about that, there's a reason the channel is called what it is, and I will be having some hot takes too eventually, but thank you for sticking around, hope you enjoyed the video like subscribe do what you gotta do though watching it is perfectly just enough for me right now and probably going forward realistically speaking until then stay safe be good i'm out